Hi everyone. Today for our fourth Art at Home, we are going to be making clay with three very simple ingredients that hopefully everybody has in their kitchen. Our final clay pieces are going to be air dry clay, so they're going to get hard after um, about a week and then you'll be able to do whatever you want with them. I have made with mine some different shapes. I have a heart, stars, and then I made this little kind of like a bird, like creature also. So that is something that you guys can decide what you want to do with your clay once you finish making it. Today I'm just going to show you how to make the clay at home and then it will be up to you what you make with it. The ingredients that you're going to need for the clay is you're going to need some flour, you're going to need some salt, and you are going to need some water. And those are the only ingredients that you need. And then if you want to add color to your clay, you can use food coloring. Or if you have tempera paint at home, you can use tempera paint too. You're also going to need a bowl for mixing, a spoon or your hands, and then a measuring cup. Or you can just use your eyeballs to kind of guess how much you need of everything. I wanted to show you guys that I have this mat laid out for my work surface so that when I'm making my clay, I'm not making a mess on the counter. I have everything on one surface that makes it nice and easy to clean up. So make sure when you're doing this, you also have a placemat or you can use a brown paper bag or some plastic or anything like that. Make sure you have that down so that you can have a really easy cleanup. The recipe for the clay is two parts flour one part salt and one part water. So what that means is you are going to pick the measurement that you want to use for the flour and then you're going to use half of that amount for salt and half of that amount for water. So I am going to use a half a cup of flour, which means I'm going to use a quarter or a fourth a cup of salt and then a quarter or a fourth a cup of water. I'm going to measure my flour out with a fourth a cup and so I'm going to do two scoops of that. So I've got my flour here. I'm just going to do one scoop into my bowl and two scoops into my bowl. After I've got that all set up, I'm going to do Fill this whole cup up with salt. Put that right on in. And then I'm going to give this a quick little stir together. I'm going to use my spoon and just kind of mix that all up so that it's all incorporated in one thing before I add the water. All right, so I have this angled so that you can see it, and I'm going to use my little cup here and I'm going to fill that up with the amount of water that I need and then I'm going to slowly add the water so I'm not going to add it all at once I'm going to do a little sprinkle and then kind of start mixing it together see how wet that is so we can see it's starting to form some little clumps but not quite all together so I'm going to go back and add some more water and keep mixing it up and then I'm going to go in and add the and the rest of my water in and just keep mixing. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to use my hands. And I'm going to start mixing with my hands to make sure that I'm getting it all together. I have extra water next to me in case that I need that, just in case it's not wet enough. So I'm just kind of going to start clumping this together and seeing if it can start coming together a little bit more like clay. And it feels like I need a little bit more water, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cup, get a little more water, and just kind of do another little splash of water in there. If, in the end, your clay is too wet, you can add more flour to it, and that'll make it easier to use. And if it's too dry, you can always add more water to it. So it's pretty easy to fix any, any problems you have with this clay recipe. I'm going to keep mixing with my hands until it all comes together and I don't have any more of this little powder at the bottom of the bowl. All right, so as you can see, I have my big chunk of clay and then the rest of my bowl, there's no other little parts. So that's what you want it to look like. You want to make it look like just kind of one big 
piece of clay like we use at school and then you are ready to go. If you want to add food coloring to your clay, this is the time to do that. I'm going to make some, I think, orange clay. So I'm going to do a few drops of, of yellow and, and I'm going to do a few drops of, one drop of red. Once you've added your food coloring, you can go back in with your hands and mix it all in so that it gets fully mixed into your clay. You're gonna have to mix it for a little bit to get all the color everywhere you want it to be. All right, so I've just spent a lot, a lot of time mixing my clay all up and so now I've got this nice orange color. And after you have your clay, it's up to you what you do with it. You can roll it out into a sheet of clay and use cookie cutters to cut shapes out. You can make it into a sculpture. It's up to you. You can do, if you wanna do a coil pot or a pinch pot like we did in school, you can do that. The choices are unlimited. If you wanna save your clay for later, you can put it into a Ziploc bag and make sure that there's no air in there and then this should be able to stay clay-like for a week or two. If you're gonna dry your clay, you're gonna to wanna to put it out flat on a surface, so on some tin foil or on a Ziploc bag or on the counter, and it's gonna need about a week to get really, really dry. But then once it does, you can see that it's like pretty dry and it doesn't break too easily. So when you're letting it dry, make sure that you have it out flat on the surface and then every day turn it over so the bottom of it can also dry. I hope you guys have fun making clay at home and you're able to make a lot of really cool things with your clay once you're finished. I would love it if you would send me videos of your artwork or even just send me a quick email that says that, that you made something out of clay or that you made the clay or what project you did make. I am very much looking forward to hearing from everybody. I hope you're having fun at home and I miss you. Bye.